Hey guys, I'm HP and today I'm going to talk about Spanish guitar improvisation. But before we get started, make sure to subscribe to my channel, hit the notification button to get a message when a new video is uploaded or a live stream is taking place. So what's the topic today? I'm going to show what I mean. Music says more than words and then we get into details. Yeah, and so on. So first I'm going to show you the rhythm guitar, which is played is really nice and not too hard to play. And then some concepts, how you improvise, improv, improvise over such a progression, which is, which is a pretty typical one for any kind of Latin or Spanish music. Yeah, I'm playing with a pick. So you pick plays out there, it's going to be this technique, but if you're a... Um, flamenco player or stuff does you just don't pay attention to um, what I'm doing with my right hand so it's especially for pick players so let's get started the rhythm guitar can be played with pick or finger picking I did with uh, with the pick and it's basically simple chords is a D minor but I'm just making bar here in the fifth fret the normal D minor but I uphold the Worry that the oh the E string, the high E string is open and then just so you go with a pick down in one row, go back. See? That's how it's done. In 16 notes are one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And then I go to a B6, which is this one here. First fret and pinky in the third fret on the B string and the rest is all open string. You really have to put the chord up like this. Same movement as before. Just put your fingers up that all open strings sound the way they should. Then to the C, you just move up the chord like this. So that means that, that the top two strings are the same note. That doesn't really matter. You make the same movement. Back to D minor. Yeah, and when you change from the D minor to the B, you make the last note on the D string open and this time you change the chord see yeah so that's the first part then comes a G minor 6 is like this here here middle finger in the third fret ring finger in the third and pink in the third on the G and B string the rest is open string same movement but now we skip the A string then to F just move down with the index the rest stays then this stay again and the index goes here in the second fret on the D string same movement and to a special uh, A is like this. Bar here in the second fret, pinky in the fifth over the E and B string. Sounds cooler than just. Yeah. So the second part will be like this.
Let me play with the track. And so on, and so on. So that will be the rhythm guitar. You can also play normal chords if you want D minor to B to C, but it's of course cooler to have a little bit more special chords. So that's the prog progression, and that is important to know. We also check out the chords now, which they're played in the position because now we come to soloing. We are in D minor, so we play the. I, for today, we just keep it here in one position. Uh, let me quickly switch off something. As I said, for today, we stay in the position here. With this D minor scale, we also go in the low position. So this will be the, the D minor scale. We are also using the D harmonic minor scale, which will be this one here. Pretty much the same, just, just now, here. And here. Make the stretch here. The pinky. Here also the stretch. So that will be the D harmonic minor scale. Now we also check the chords as they are played here in position. This will be D minor. The one as before, but one now we just check the normal bar to B major. It will be this one here. D minor to B major here on the sixth fret. To C, we take this one here, this C to D minor. This is now important for the improvisation. I'm going to show you why. So now we, we, we really go for the, I mean, we have the scale, <coughs> but we go for the chords. What does that mean? This is the D minor. A really convenient known to start is the tri. This will be this one here. And then we move from triad to triad. This is a triad of D man. This one here. To the triad of the B. See, it's in. You, you find the chord notes when you just grab the normal chords, not the, the chords of the rhythm guitar, just the very normal chords because they are the beacon for you to find the chord notes. So. Okay, C. So this will be the triad of the C. And then back to D man. So. Now you can play around these notes, something like in the scale. See, I just exaggerate now to play the full scale, but stopped here on the. I call them target notes. Target note will be this one for the D minor, this for the B, B flat major, and this for the C. So we can make it shorter. Something like this. Or like the. Or shorter, just that you go to this target note. And then inside the scale, just move a little bit in the scale and stop on the next target note. Okay. And here is the next target note. Let's see how that works. Really works good. Again. So 
Merci. What you also can do is let ring things with little chords. So this will be the D minor. It's the upper part of this chord here. See? To B. The little chord of B major. To C. This is the upper. And this will be the middle part of D minor. So. That also works, even without knowing the scale. Let's see how that works. I did the same thing again, but just added this notes, well, the chords, just as lettering, yeah. It's really good, even easy to understand concept without really going too much into modes. Of course, you can also play with modes here and make more wild stuff, but to develop a melody, this is already enough. Now let's go to the second part. So that would be G minor. Uh, let's take... Um, um, yeah, let's do here. We take this here, G minor. That would be this here. Oh man. This is the normal... Um, D type G minor and then comes a G minor with an F in the bass that will be like this well the F is not so important well you can do that as voice leading and then, then comes a E diminished uh, we can do to A uh, on the E diminished we just skip that one now we do this here here, seven, seven, eight, eight, two, two, uh, A. You do the same thing here, so you can also make arpeggios like then comes the G minor with F in the bass, that will be the F here. So just go on the F as target note, then to the E. And when and now we switch to harmonic minor and then D note which makes harmonic minor is the C sharp so you just go for the C sharp and that's it let's give it a try I need to rewind a little bit so that comes the second part really simple don't make it too complicated a lot of players just search too far so then to E and then to to this C sharp And with this you really already sound cool. And the rest you can just fill up with... I'm going to play a full sequence now by doing those target notes. And in between I just play around with the scale and that's it.
and so on. You can really keep it simple and just concentrate on those target's notes and don't push it too hard. And if you want to give an extra Spanish thing, it's this here. Make this little, uh, I don't know how you call this. Just keep your pick a little bit relaxed, don't hold it too hard. And this works pretty cool. You can also add a longer, it's like tremolo picking. Just keep this going on and then it sounds cool. Yeah guys, the principle is really simple. I mean, you just take the chords, play around the target notes of the chords and just connect A to B moving through the scale. That's a more or less simple concept. But of course, there's a lot of stuff you can do with that concept. But one tutorial is just uh, too little to really talk about everything. I just wanted to talk about Spanish guitar improvisation. Well, yeah. And um, I don't know if you call this Spanish guitar improvisation. So if somebody gets angry with me, thinks it's not Spanish guitar improvisation, I'm sorry for that. I don't know how to ex uh, which is the right correct. Uh, expression for this kind of playing well it's just playing with a spanish influenced sound setting and uh, playing around and just give it a different approach to guitar uh, to the nylon guitar also playing it with a pick because there are a lot of pick players out there which i would love to do the flamenco technique of course but i can't because i never learned it so i do the more el de meola thing and um, that's the way to go um, you know, one more to say about this here, just check it out. You can just record those chords which I showed or just record your own, your own chords and try to play around with that. This is a typical, uh, typical uh, progression in this genre. But if you want to have the tabs and the backing track, the original backing track of this is available at the HP Crazy Guitar Academy. Join there. The basic membership is free. You can talk there, ask questions. If you have more questions, ask there. Uh, questions in detail. I'll be there to give some answers if I have some time. You can also talk with others about this if you want. But to download the files, you need to make the premium membership upgrade, which is a lot of value for little money. So I really recommend that, guys. And also there's all my other news feeds. I don't do social media anymore. I just do news feed on that website. You find the link in the description box below. Good. One more to say. That's about that. I'm going to play a little bit more for you to give a more creative impression and see you guys.